Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy HK Felix right back at it again. Another new video for you, HK followers. Um, if you can go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my channel, please subscribe HK Felix on YouTube and also follow me on Xbox Live. This video here is a tutorial for Shadows of Evil on how to do the rituals. A lot of people don't know how to do the rituals or how to go about it. People have just gotten the game or noobs and they want to know, hey, how, what's going on in this new map? I may know how to play already and I'm just trying to catch up and see what's going on in this map. In this map, if you watch this video, I will teach you step by step what's important into getting the rituals done ASAP. Basically start off here. Morgue City is basically where these four characters meet in this alleyway. I'm not going to get too deep into the story about what's going on here, but these four characters, they meet and they have significant power to turn into this beast is what we call it. Um, during this beast mode, you will have a significant amount of things you have to do while you're in this beast form with a time limit while you're in the beast form as well. And we will get to that starting off with the first ritual, which will be with... Nero is the first character that we do our ritual with here in Shadows of Evil. Why is he the first character? Because his ritual room is right here where we start off in the first alleyway. As you can see here in this clip is a glimpse of how the ritual room will look. In order to do these rituals, we also have to require the summoning key, which I will show you how to do that, as well as Nero's pen. That's his significant sacrifice piece for him to do his ritual. So now you're like, hey, HK, let's get this started. How do I do these rituals? What do I got to do? Well, you turn into Beast by running up to these purple lanterns here and pressing the reload button. That allow you to turn into your Beast mode. And turning into Beast mode will give you powers to open this box here by pressing the knife button and you'll be able to acquire the summoning key. One of your friends opens this gate you run outside, still in beast mode, and you run to this crane, shocking the green meter on the right-hand side. From there, the electricity will move this crane and drop the box down, which has the summoning piece for Nero's ritual. At the same time, you turn around and you look up and grapple to this eagle head, allowing you to go upstairs through the back of the ritual room and race all the way through the ritual room to the back of the building and zapping another electricity panel, which will open the stairway so that way you can get into the ritual. So now you have the piece to do the ritual, the summoning key, and the access to get to the ritual room open. I'm gonna show you in beast mode so that way you can see that it is possible with the time frame. Whack the box, zap the crane, grapple, and in beast mode, you're able to move a lot faster than you are in human mode. So while running, you'll be able to get to the back very fast. Once you're done doing that, you spawn right back where you started. And now you see the lantern is red because you only get one beast mode character per round. So now you acquire the summoning key right here from the back of the truck. Remember, someone had to open this gate in order for this to happen. Do not worry about spending your money on the gate. As you see here, I show you how it looks when the crane is zapped and dropping Nero's ritual piece. Now, any character can acquire Nero's ritual piece, not just Nero, any, quiet, any character can acquire it. Once you pick up the ritual piece, two ghosts will appear out of these five balls. You can kill them or let your team kill them, whatnot, but once you kill them, race back to the ritual room and drop the piece off because you got to remember once you pick that piece up no other player is able to do the ritual until that piece is put there which means if you pick it up put it down even if you don't want to do the ritual someone else can possibly do it i see i come in here and i place the ritual piece down and i wait for my other team members because what i do is i save a zombie at the end of the round one and i save a zombie so if you save a zombie in the first round, you're able to slice any zombie or ghost with one slice due to the fact that it's only round one. 
once the other characters get in, I start the ritual and you'll see the process. If you don't want to kill the ghost, you don't have to. You can train them or you can slice them. On to ritual number two, Floyd Campbell, the boxer. His ritual takes place in the boxing gym and the process is exactly the same way as the last ritual. Acquire the summoning piece and open the access to the summoning room. In this next part of the video, I will show you how to do that. Hopefully it's still round one and you've saved the zombie. In this next clip, I give you guys a little idea of how big the map is. So you're back here in the main area after doing the first ritual and I show you to the left of coming out of that first gate, you will see canals. In canals, you will be doing the ritual at Ruby Rabbit. On the opposite side of this gate is Waterfront District. Waterfront District is the boxing gym's ritual area. So that's where we'll be doing the boxing gym ritual there. And on the right of that is Footlight District, which has the burlesque and we'll be doing another ritual in there as well. Four, rit four rituals with the four characters in the last one. So we head into Waterfront District. As you can see, there is a beast mode lantern there. You run through this alleyway and you make your way over and I'm going to show you where the ritual piece is that you need for the boxing gym. It's right up there on that balcony, scaffold or whatnot. You grapple up there and you'll whack the box. Of course, someone has to buy the gate, so this gate has to be bought as well here. As you run through this alleyway towards this building, you see right there in that corner is another beast mode. This building on the left of me is the boxing gym. I turn this corner here and you'll be able to see the boxing gym is locked up and we can't open it unless we're using a beast mode. I use the beast mode in the back of the boxing gym to come over and grapple up to the scaffold. It can be a little tricky trying to grapple, so make sure to jump around and like move around the area. I whack down the box so that way we can get the piece and then I race back to the boxing gym door so that way I can open it. And with that being said, you do the most important thing. Get the ritual piece and open the access room to do the ritual. That clip there I just showed you when you grab the piece again, two ghosts will appear and since it's round one, I just slice them. Head back to the boxing gym ASAP and place the piece down so you can do the ritual. The faster you place the piece down again, the faster you guys can get the ritual going. I tell everyone to stand in the back of the room back here as you can see, I bring them in. So if any zombies come, any ghosts come at you, just slice them um, while I train them. I don't know why I trained them, it was round one, we just all sliced them. But that's another tactic or technique you can learn. Um, in doing the rituals, you know, if you have everyone in one group in one corner, you all can slice the ghosts if they come, but while one person goes, trains them around. Regardless of that, remember, at the end of this ritual, the second ritual and the fourth ritual, a Mogwaf was spawned, spawned. So you say, what the hell is a Mogwaf? Well, Mogwaf is a beast, one of the bosses that they give you in the Shadows of Evil map. It has three eyes, and you kill it by shooting its three eyes out. Gotta remember, it's still round one, so we use our regular guns, and you can see it's killing them with no problem. Ritual number three. All right, guys, you still here with me? Hang in there, we're halfway done. Same thing that we're doing with the female character now, Jessica. We are acquiring our ritual piece and opening the access room to do the ritual. Of course, we gotta buy the gates, um, make money from the last rituals, if not, let a round go by, make some money, save a zombie, let's get this ritual done. So now you come back to the main area junction and you head over to Footlight District to do the ritual with Jessica at Burlesque. Someone open the gate, don't be afraid, you guys get liquid divinium when you buy stuff, so that may help. Come over here and you grab this beast mode on the lantern. And you can grapple up there or open this gate here by zapping the lock. You see the electricity panel there. Once you do that, you'll come upstairs and come up this ramp. I show you the ramp right here. You'll jump off of the ramp 
and onto this building hitting this box right there. Once you hit that box, you want to come back over to where you were on the balcony by this ramp, run down this hallway, and come over to this next balcony. You'll make a right, and you look at the burlesque building, you'll see an eagle head up there. You grapple to the eagle head as well, drop down, and behind the burlesque sign, there is another electricity panel. That opens the door to the burlesque. So I'll show you in beast mode again. Turn the beast, I come over here and I zap the panel and it opens the gate. I still have a little time left so I whack that box. But I come upstairs as you can see. I normally cut the perk on but I was doing it fast. Whack the box, jump back across, go to the next balcony, grapple across, and, and I, I do it with a matter of seconds. Zap that electricity panel. Burlesque is open. Go ahead and grab your piece. Remember, there's going to be two ghosts there. After grabbing your piece, kill them. Head straight towards the burlesque. Someone will have to buy this next gate. Again, sacrifices have to be made to get these rituals done. You head over to the burlesque and you drop down the ritual piece. And once you drop down the ritual piece, again, you can wait for your teammates or you can do it alone. Um, the more teammates, the more money you make. I said that earlier and I guess I'm going to have to say it again. Just so you guys know, do the ritual, you can kill the ghost, or you can train them. A lot of people are scared of killing them because when they kill, they spawn between a lot of these spots with fire on the map. Random. So a lot of people get trapped and fall. You don't want to mess your other teammates up by, you know, killing the zombies. So you guys decide before you do the ritual. Get this ritual done, and once you're done with this ritual, head over to the next ritual, and it begins all over yet again Double points. Don't check it by its There's a lot of truth in that Ritual number four the last ritual all right we do it here with this guy Jack he's a police officer and we head over to the canals and do the exact same thing again guys it's repetition you should have the hang of it already get the ritual piece so that way you can do the ritual and you open the access room which is to ruby rabbit to do the ritual here with jack come back to the main area here which is junction and you head over to canals and in canals you'll see right here on my right there is a lantern to turn into beast you'll turn into beast and you'll run over here to this balcony and jump off the balcony on your right, you'll see a box. The box will have a gate over it. So you'll whack the box through the gate, and then you'll run back towards this direction so you can zap that gate open by zapping the box that's behind this secret wall. You'll then turn back around and stop about here, turn around just like I'm doing, and you can grapple up there to a balcony or grapple there as well to the eagle head, and you'll land above the balcony. You'll come down into this building and you'll zap the electricity gate. I'm going to show you right now in beast mode. You turn into beast and you run over here. You'll whack that box. I whack this door, which is the rift. I'll explain later. Run over here and you'll electrocute this panel. Grapple up to the balcony. Now you're in the ruby rabbit. You run down the ruby rabbit all the way downstairs. You zap this panel, which opens the stairway. With the most important things right now. You got your piece, you open the ritual room, get in the ritual room, drop down your piece, start your ritual, and once your ritual is done, this is the last ritual, so a magwa will appear. Well, this isn't the last ritual, it's the last ritual with the characters, all four characters. So in the second ritual, I told you a magwa will appear then, and it'll appear here on the fourth ritual. So you finish this fourth ritual, kill the magwa, once the Magwaf's done, you collect the worm. All four characters should have a worm now, and you should head back down in canals, the rift area that I opened for you earlier, I showed you. Jump in the rift area. In the rift area, you'll begin the next process to this next ritual. You approach that door that we just seen there with the lights lit up, and you drop your worm off here on this lantern. You'll be able to run across the wall right here as well once you do that. And then your other teammates drop the rest of their ritual pieces in this room as well. 
once all the pieces are dropped off, this is the last ritual, guys. We are here. We made it. Let's do it. Ritual number five started up. Begin the ritual there at that altar, and you do the same thing. You train these ghosts around, and well, the ritual is over. When you kill them, your choice. This ritual is the easiest ritual to do. At the end of this ritual, you will be getting another Mogwaf spawned in that you would have to kill. So you ask me now, hey Felix, we've done all five of these rituals. We explained it and broke it down as best as possible, even though I'm a noob at doing these videos. Well, what's the outcome? Now, why did we do these rituals? Well, you did these rituals because doing the rituals is the first step to opening Pack-A-Punch. And the creator of the game specifically told us, hey, Zombies game is a survival game. You are intended to die. You will die. The basic goal is to do everything that's possible to survive. Pack-a-punching your gun is one of the most efficient ways to survive in zombies. Not only can you pack-a-punch your gun once, you can patch-a-punch it twice in this new Shadows of Evil map. Once you pack-a-punch it the second time, it gives you a feature in your gun that allows special perks to have. Alright guys, man, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out to actually sit here and watch this 10 minute plus video of my YouTube channel that I am working very hard on. So if you guys can subscribe, that definitely will help a lot. Um, made this video for a lot of people that, that don't know what they're doing on Zombie Shadow of Evil or don't have a mic to communicate. Hopefully this video helped you and you can subscribe and share it to any friends that it may help that you may feel as well. I mean, I'm doing this because I was on 360 and I had Black Ops on 360. I still do and I'm prestige level three. And what's so sad is that I bought this one and I'm not nothing. I'm, I'm like a baby again. So a lot of people look at me as a noob. I'm the Xbox One. And I know exactly what I'm doing. It's like number seven in the world for revives. Like, that's crazy. But I got to start over and I need you guys to help me so that way we can last longer and survive in the zombies match as well as we all get experience. We all learn and we all play well. I'm going to share this to everyone that I possibly can share it to that will help as well as hopefully you can. If you thought this video was amazingly helpful towards you, please subscribe. And my link, HK Felix on YouTube. You're more than welcome to follow or add me on the Xbox One. I follow back HKF3LIX. That's HK Felix, but with the three instead of the E. YouTube is the E. I'm gonna get let you guys get to play, man. Hit me up. Let's play. I'm I'm ready to play like right now. Let's go. Start this up.